we can represent a qubit graphically on what is called a block sphere. On the top, we have the zero state, and on the bottom, we have the one state. On the horizontal, we have the plus state, minus state, i state, and negative i state. We will discuss these in later lessons. The closer up the qubit is to the zero state, the higher probability of measuring a zero. And the same goes for the one state. That means that if we have the state 1 on root 2, 1 on root 2, it will lie halfway between the north and south poles, since it has an even chance of being measured as 0 or 1. You may notice that since it is a sphere, the qubit can spin around the sphere. This is called phase. We will talk about this in later lessons. Right now, it is important to understand the basic idea that the higher up the qubit is, the more likely we are to measure a 0, and the lower the qubit, the more likely we are to measure a 1. Pause the video and think about where the state 1 on 2, root 3 on 2, will be on the block sphere. The qubit 1 on 2, root 3 on 2, would be halfway between the equator and the 1 state, since it has a 1 on 4 chance of being measured as a 0, and a 3 on 4 chance of being measured as a 1. 